Because DM's always open. At Ben and Kelly Show. You can shoot us a DM and maybe ask a question that you don't want to necessarily have your family involved in. Because, you know, maybe you're embarrassed or maybe it's just been 10 it's all about them. years yeah. that something's been going on. So, yeah, you can DM us at Ben and Kelly show and we'll turn around and help you out. So this one says, hey, Ben and Kelly, hoping you can toss my situation out to your listeners. I studied abroad a decade ago, started a fling with a resident in the country in which I was visiting. Hmm. We thought it'd be a fun short-term thing, but here we are 10 years later, still seeing each other periodically throughout the year. So we've decided that it's time to commit and settle down in one spot together. The issue is, I haven't told my family about this at all in the past 10 years. Wow. At no point did I think we'd ever get serious. Okay. And as time went on, it felt like it'd take more explaining than it was worth. Now, of course, now I regret not bringing up bringing it up in the beginning. Mm-hmm. How do I introduce them? Should I start with context or wait until the questions begin? So, <laughs> wow. so, so it's like, do you just immediately like say, hey, this is a person I'm now getting married to. And you're like, and then your family's like, hang on a second. We don't even know this person. Yes. I, now she's not. T- yeah. She's not talking marriage, right? Hang on a second. I, well, I, I, let, she says we're settling down in one spot together. Uh, yeah. I guess. Like, yeah, they, that's a they're, future. They're, yeah, they're getting. They're Which getting could involve maybe her going and living in this other country. Hmm. I mean, that's a big thing that's to a, drop or, on them too. Or that person coming here. Right. Yeah. So I. But but yeah, you're right. I. It. She doesn't really disclose one way or the other whether she's planning on. Dual citizenship or, you know, this person's coming here. We're we're talking 10 years. I have questions as to why never in the span of 10 years, like even after maybe a year, we are we are reassessing going, huh, I thought this was just going to be like a little short time thing. And here we are a year later and I'm still really into this person. Maybe I should. Tell my family. Yeah, I mean, that I've got a thing going on. Sure, hindsight, yes. I yes, hindsight for sure. She should have been a little bit more. Hey, you know, this this person that I've been casually seeing is kind of getting a little serious. But I, I casually seeing for ten years, <laughs> ten years. I mean, that's what I, I feel as though that little tidbit right there is going to make her family feel like, oh my, this is a huge part of you we had zero clue about. Yeah, but... And that, how is that possible? Can you can you do it kind of like a um, birth announcement or, you know, what one of those gender reveal things where it's like... You invite, Congratulations, you this invite, is my boyfriend for 10 years. You invite the family and then, it's, then out pops your boyfriend or whatever. I I see I don't know. I think that part, the length of time that she has mentioned nothing about this person that's now so important to her and has been important to her for a long time now that she's had zero but what and first of all, then the like her boyfriend, is he not offended? I feel I, like he should be offended a little bit well, too. Well, but maybe maybe he's in the same boat. You never mentioned me at all to your family at all ever? I don't know, maybe he's in the same boat. Interesting. I just have many questions. Well, would love to hear your thoughts on this, and especially if you've been in this situation. I think if you've been in this situation, you've held a relationship like private for a long time, and then all of a sudden released it on your family. Like, how did that work out for you? We'd love to hear those stories for sure. 502-571-9. Nine seventy, and a lot of people are coming up with questions on our diving into the DMs here. We got a message from a listener who's been seeing someone, I'll say long distance, for 10 years.
years, never told her family. Now she says she regrets not bringing it up in the beginning, but like they're wanting to kind of settle in together and kind of have a future. Now she's like, how do I do this? Do I give them the 100% complete backstory or do I just introduce them and, and answer questions as they go? As they come. I feel like that's, I mean, the obvious answer is you, you have to start from the very beginning because that would make sense about how they met. And that was a yeah. long, it was 10 years. Right. Right. For sure. So, um, 502-571-9970, uh, Shannon, what's your thought? Um, I don't really see that this is like a bad thing. Cause like on both ends, their family probably would be relieved. Like, thank God they're not going to die alone. Because after 10 years of them not being with anyone else, they're probably wondering, why are they still single? Yeah, okay, that's a unique perspective. That is, like a, that. that is a good perspective, sure. Shannon, thank you. No worries. Hey, Shaq. How you guys, how you guys doing? Ah, oh, we're pretty good. So what's your take on this whole thing? My thing is they're hiding it because the other person has got to be of a different race. Oh, you're thinking maybe they don't... Like, like different they wouldn't culture, gel with stuff. their culture or their the other family or whatever. Yeah, and either one family or, but well, I'll say her family is not going to be accepted because she's the one that's talking about herself. And look how discreet she was. Mm-hmm. She gave. Well, us I feel no like she would have mentioned that though. Wouldn't she have mentioned that though? Like this is the reason why I've been hesitant to say anything. Yeah, maybe. Well, I feel like that would have, if that was a, really? a significant reason, she would have mentioned that. I mean, that would be the most significant thing I could think of. I'm a black guy that dates out of my race because I don't see color, but mm-hmm. everyone doesn't agree. Like people sure. that you talk to, like I dated a girl for two and a half years. Her parents, her family never knew. She saw them every day. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. How would that make you feel? Well, she explained it. Okay. And I was like, okay, well, I'm dating you, not them. So it's not their business. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good perspective, too. Well, Shaq. They're, they're uh, talking about switching countries. So now it's going to be somebody's business. Yeah, yeah, it is <laughs> yeah. going to be somebody's business. Well, Shaq, make sure you buckle your seatbelt, man, okay? All right. I just pulled up where I'm going. I, I <laughs> All right. To work. All right, buddy. Hey, thanks, thanks for the call. Shaq. Have a good one. Hi there, Andrew, the love doctor. What's your thought? Well, I'm with Kelly. I got questions. This is this this one would, for me would take about an hour to discuss. First and foremost, just have an adult conversation. Get it out there on the table in context. What's been going on the last ten years? You've got to have the conversation with them. Um, it's going to come out anyway. My question would be: Is why did it take so long? What, what, what's I mean? What's been going on for the last? Have they dated other people in the ten years? Have they gone? I mean, you know, there's a lot of questions. Like, like Kelly says, I'm interested to see. What's been going on? But she has to have a conversation with him. Just tell him, let's be adults. Let's get it out on the table. But 10 years? Well, man, uh, and, I mean, and it's easy It's easy to do if you're living in a different state or different country to right, keep it quiet. Right. Kelly had that question earlier. Yeah. Right, right. I was going to say, I mean, the, the things that we know are they're both in a different, they're in a different country. So I, I would imagine that in and of itself just distance wise makes it easier to keep it a secret so super easy just in small talk though like over even a couple of years in you say well you know i am kind of still talking to this person that i met yeah 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 why 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 keep it why 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 keep it quiet for so long there's a reason it was kept quiet for so long yeah i want to know what that is all right well andrew the love doctor thank you buddy keep on loving guys see ya uh, ben texted in, my ex-fiance lived in Columbia, met her through my friend, her cousin. Mm-hmm. I didn't hide it from my family for too long, mm-hmm. if at all. But those dynamics are tricky for real or family. Yeah. It will have mixed emotions for sure. But if they're supportive, they're going to give this guy a real chance, especially if he makes her happy to the point that it's this serious to commit to moving for one another. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That. I mean, and look, I've got teenage daughters they are of the dating age and you know i would like to think that hey as long as they are happy and well cared for and they are doing what they love and things like that but if 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 they see a a person who is going to move them out of the country for ever then i i I, I don't know i part of me is like i i still want to be the person that's like yes yes you know this person makes you happy but then another part is like i don't know this person very well 
Well, yeah, and, and then, I'll, you know. I'll be honest. Like, I have a, a really good friend who, um, when she married her husband, everything was fine and dandy with his family mm-hmm. while they were just dating. Mm-hmm. But when they got married and realized that he was not moving back to their home state and he was staying here, oh, things got they different. They were not. They like flipped a switch on her. Oh, and it's been a rough road. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So wow. I mean, there there could be that. All right. Well, hey, keep us posted. Hopefully. Um, you know, I I think communication obviously is is going to be key here. And how yeah, you... but I think it's it's finding the right words to start that conversation. Like, hey, mom and dad. Mm-hmm. So I've been seeing someone for for ten, 10 years, years. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to move, and he doesn't live in this country. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, hey, good luck. Good luck. Hopefully, we gave you a lot of just options to uh, to to think about and keep us posted here. Yeah, you got to be honest. Yep. Ninety nine seventy J.